Sophie with the corporate communications team here at Kia. I always make sure that Kia Media has the latest information for you. Similar to Teresa, who you saw in episode two, I don't cook. Typically I leave that to my husband along with the dishes, but I decided in Kia's give it everything mantra, I'm gonna try something new because we're always committed to making things better. Therefore, I'm gonna step it up and I'm gonna build some tasty nachos today. All right, time to start preparing our nachos for baking. Grab a handful of chips and line the bottom of your pan with them. And I'm very picky about my nacho rice here. So I wanna make sure that I put some beans on our first layer Remember, it's all about the proper ratio. I also like to put a little bit of cheese per layer because we want to make it nice and cheesy. Hopefully you don't find my video cheesy. Also, to make sure that we have the proper ratio, we're going to put just a little bit of chicken down at the bottom. Now we're going to put the rest of our nachos. Spread them all on top. Spread the rest of it right there on top. Now it's time to add some more cheese. Make sure it's nice and coated so it, m it will melt just perfect. It's going to be so tasty, it's going to melt in your mouth. Now that you have everything assembled, it's time to get this puppy in the oven so we can get to eating. I checked on them and they're looking nice and melted, so it's time to take them out. Mmm. Now that they're nice and baked, it's time to add your favorite toppings. I love sour cream, so we're gonna add a little bit of that on. And for an added flavor, we're gonna add Denise's habanero guac. If you missed the episode, make sure you visit Kia Media to check it out. Well, folks, that reaches the end of our video. Guess what? I didn't set the fire alarm off and I have all my fingers still. I think today was an accomplishment. Stay tuned for more episodes.